Space Force all the way. That was the president's tweet after Vice President Pence outlined the administration's plan to create a sixth military service branch by 2020. Investors already taking note of the opportunities in space, pumping over a billion dollars into space startups just this year. Joining us now, Chad Anderson, CEO of Space Angels, also managing partner at Space Capital with investments in Elon Musk's SpaceX, along with noted space entrepreneur Naveen Jain, founder and CEO of Moon Express and Viome. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us today. Chad, I want to start with you. Chad, I want to start with you. Uh, I realize the Space Force and all the news we got about how this is going to play out in terms of a reorganizational scenario and, and a sixth uh, military branch, uh, service branch in the military is more of a defense situation. But does this just add fuel to the fire in terms of what we're seeing in investment in space right now? Uh, yes, Space Force. Um, so the, the, the idea here is... Um, the Air Force is in charge of, of what's going on in space right now, and um, uh, it's really an acquisition. The argument is about the acquisition process. Um, the Air Force has been prioritizing the air part of, of, of their mission, and it's understandable since uh, space makes up about 10% uh, of what they do. So the idea is um, uh, to, to set up something that will be focused on space. Is the Space Force the right way to go, a completely separate branch of government? Uh, I, there's a lot of debate about that right now, um, certainly a command or a guard or something. Um, from an investor's perspective, though, what we really appreciate is the focus on uh, acquisition reform. So whereas uh, the Air Force would normally just go to the people that they know, the Lockheeds, Boeings of the world, and the big incumbents, um, having a specialized force of people um, that really understands what's happening in space, the new players that are coming up, um, provides a lot of opportunity for them to purchase new services. Um, we saw some of that um, uh, playing out uh, across space, across NASA, uh, a willingness to partner with smaller companies um, and, and newer innovative uh, uh, services. And now your firm puts out a, a quarterly report in terms of investments in space. We've seen a lot more money, a lot more VC money, angel money uh, going into the sector than we did just a couple of years ago. Where are the hot investments and how do you expect this to grow? Yeah. So it's all, this is all very new and very exciting. So in 2009, the barriers to entry came down in space in a big way. Um, it was a really key turning point when SpaceX had their first successful launch. Brought the cost down, but also brought transparency to a closed market. Um, we saw the number of privately funded space companies go from a couple of dozen back in 2009 to uh, 350 plus today. Uh, $15 billion has gone into those companies. And so uh, we're seeing a ton of opportunities uh, across the spectrum. There's, $350 billion in the space economy today, mostly satellites and launch, and we're investing across uh, uh, that, those sectors, um, and also in a number of other new sectors, uh, be it uh, debris uh, mitigation and tracking, uh, yeah. lunar transportation, uh, deep space platforms, uh, yeah. you name it. Naveen, you are the founder and executive chairman of Moon Express. It's the only company to have permission from the U.S. government to leave Earth orbit and land on the moon. How's that process going? In terms Amazingly of well. I mean, first of all, it's really going well, but I think really the excitement time is this is a new era. Just like the internet, this is going to be a massive paradigm shift. And the companies are going to be created, they're going to be building the infrastructure, just like they build the fiber on the internet. The rocket companies are really providing that infrastructure. And there's going to be the last mile solution, just like the internet service providers. The, the landers, they're going to land on the moon, on the Mars, and the Titan, and Europa. And there's going to be the applications layer that's going to be built, just like Google and Facebook. People are going to be building applications, whether it's a lunar habitat, whether it's creating a fuel depot, whether it's mining for resources or really creating the tourism uh, in terms of space hotels. So all that is coming in and there has never been a better time to be investing in space because as many people have said, the first trillionaires are going to be created in a space economy because if you look at the thing, the planet Earth is just a tiny blue dot in our you know, <laughs> whole galaxy and there's galaxies and galaxies of the things in the universe. So where is the scarcity? And we all tend to focus just on our planet Earth where there is so much yeah. of the other resources beyond us. It's a really good planet, though, i got to say. Naveen, I'm wondering, the, the potential uh, uh, impact of the Space Force, do you see it more as a stabilizing impact on commercial efforts in space or maybe as an acquiring and incubating power that actually uh, develops and supports technologies that become significant in the future? 
but you know, the, both of the things, I mean, you have to, people think of a Space Force as some type of a Star War. But you have to remember, the world is becoming digital and the world is becoming connected. So imagine living a life with no communication and no GPS. Even the smart weapon becomes the dumb weapon. Forget about just the autonomous cars. Even we can't drive without the GPS. And secondly, as we start to develop new technologies to protect our satellites, these technologies can be also be used yeah. for the benefit of humanity. As you know, I started Wyom, uh, basically yeah. based on a biodefense work that can now change the way we deliver healthcare, understanding exactly what's happening inside the human yeah. body and to be able to figure out what food is good for you, what bad food is bad for you, and really balancing your gut. So that's yeah. really the kind of technology that come out of our efforts.